hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing my current favorites this is my first current favorites of 2024 and i love to do these videos i specifically like to do them in like different seasons so like winter current favorites summer current favorites summer is like my like biggest current favorite but i'm really excited about today's video because i haven't done one in a while and i'm really excited to show you guys some of my current favorites for this year so far which i'm really really excited about so i'm really excited to get started in today's video i'm not any further ado let's get started okay so we are going to start with our skincare and makeup portion and oh my god my skin has actually been so good i feel like it's definitely been way better than it has been in the past and it's definitely because of these products so first we have the madagascar centella skin 1004 products and these literally oh my god like literally my skin has never been better let's start with this cleansing oil so i talked about so many cleansing oil but this one has to be the best one so lightweight and it's kind Kind of more watery than like previous cleansing oils i use i use like the manon one i think that's how you say it but that one was much thicker so it was like a kind of harder to get off the makeup this one so light and watery and i love it so much like i don't even want to use this bottle it's like kind of like gold to me definitely been like one of my favorite cleansing oils that i ever laid my hands on and then we also have the ample foam and this is like a cleanser i like how it foams up and it also doesn't leave my skin dry so two skin 104 products literally have been like my favorite skincare items ever they're so they're literally so good okay next we have this this has also been one of my favorite items and honestly i didn't know about it at first like i first tried it, i was like oh, i don't really understand the hype girl after using it for like two weeks i can say that my skin has improved so much the consistency the way it makes your skin feel really glowy like it really absorbs into your skin and i love that it actually is such a really nice product and i love it like i get down with it i get down with it and then girl th i'm basically showing you guys my whole skincare routine okay we have the anua tone and leaf palette pa uh, pads and then we also have this peptide 9 volume and tension metapeel cream i literally could go on and on and on so first I actually have the toner but i definitely like the toner pads better because i just feel like it's like the right amount of toner in the pads girl i can tell you i definitely use about like all of them because definitely these have been so good i don't know what it does for my skin but it does something and it it works wonder and then the cream since it's winter my skin obviously does get a lot more drier so this cream is really thick and also very hydrated it's the peptide 9 betty hill one it does have a slight scent to it at first it did bother me but i think i kind of got used to it but it's definitely like a thick very like melty cream it just melts on it like literally melts onto your skin like butter it hydrates your skin so well and i'm just like girl like this should never be this good okay now we are going to get into makeup items so let's start i'm going to start off with this glossier priming moisturizer because before i didn't really technically use primer i just literally put my makeup on i definitely see a difference whenever i use this primer but it's so good like i do my skincare and then i put on this primer it does good it does what the job okay these two palettes have my heart literally a pop of glitter will not hurt you okay the unleash palette as you guys heard i've talked about this a lot i've obviously talked about it on my tiktok and stuff like that the glitters in here are actually like the most perfect consistency that i've ever like i was like girl what that's why i think it's really really good oh my god but i cannot I cannot sleep on my girly. This is my number one. Look at this packaging. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like this swan ballet concept. Oh my God, Flower Nose, you did it. You did it for me. I love you so much. Send me products, please. Oh, my. It's not even just the glitters in here. The eyeshadow is so pretty. Like, oh my flipping god i will ne this will never be off of my favorites because it's literally this my favorite makeup item that i own the like embroidery like in the makeup is like ballet oh my god this is like my favorite thing ever okay next we have a few lippies so um obviously i have the elf lip oil i think i already talk about these two lippies in my vlogs a lot but they're just like my favorite i feel like the shade really goes with my skin complexion but the petty peta one i really like the packaging the shade isn't my favorite the uh what is it called the 
formula the formula is really nice but the packaging won my heart over that's why i put it in here just because of the packaging so these are like my favorite lippies right now for the last makeup items we have this etude house curl fix mascara what like okay i used to use the rare beauty one but i stopped using it because i felt like it was just really chunky and i just stopped using rare beauty if you get it you get it but i use this one now and the applicator i think the applicator is what really got me like it's so thin so like it easily applies onto my eyelashes it also makes it easier for me to like clump my eyelashes together because i like to do that to get a more like wispy look i guess now i'm gonna get into clothing items and like bags and shoes and stuff like that so let me start off with this you probably see me wear this five thousand bajillion times but this leather jacket from lucan has literally been my favorite for like the winter but i've definitely been wearing this a lot these days and i like how oversized it is as well i think it's really nice next we have two bags so this is bag number one i actually just recently got this bag and oh my god girl it's so cute i put this like little bow pearl thing on there and i've been seeing a lot of people get a bag like like uh this is called the stand oil bag but obviously this is a dupe i also love how long the strap is because you can just see it it kind of gives like japanese school bag and i love that it's so cute and you can put like more charms and stuff so maybe i'll decorate this some more i recently got it that's why i haven't decorated as much literally one of my favorite bags obviously we have my cause bag i this wouldn't be a video if i didn't mention it i love this bag so much like i said it's cute and i get a lot of compliments on this bag whenever i wear it out and i'm just like thank you it's, it's my favorite bag i take it everywhere with me and it's 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 my girl it's my girl so next is the shoes i've just been loving these because i feel like they just look so classy and nice they're these literally handmade loafers like girl my dad bought me these and i was like these are so cute when i first put them on they were a little tight maybe because like the leather has not been stretched out yet but i love how classy these are i love them so much they're a perfect like height i guess and they look so nice on I love, I love me a classy black loafer but those have definitely been like one of my favorite pair of shoes along with my black uggs i literally wear these every day like they're just so comfortable they're warm they're cute they have like a little platform on them which i love the only thing i could say about these shoes is that they don't have a back so it can be hard to walk in them a little bit but other than that they're so cute like i would have got the boots version but they were literally so out of every ugg named when i was looking for uggs i just got these ones which are still cute and i love them and i wear them literally every day next we are going to get into more miscellaneous items or like random items that i just have here let me start with this perfume as i mentioned before this glossier you perfume has definitely been one of my favorite perfumes these days um the scent is also really nice it just smells like very clean girl which i love and i definitely honestly want to buy the big bottle in the future because i love that scent so so much i've definitely been obsessed with a lot of miffy products first we got my cute little miffy plushie i got this from miffy town and a lot of people actually ask me where i get my miffy items from and honestly they come all from different random places but this and my miffy lamp come from miffy town look at my miffy lamp she's so cute it's so tiny and cute and i keep her like on my pegboard let me show you guys we got my little miffy lamp which I love her. She's literally so cute. We have my Miffy humidifier. It's like the pink one. Oh my God. This Miffy magnet, which I love. Also, this lamp has definitely been one of my favorites. I turn it on all the time. I also got this from the TikTok shop and it's so cute because it's pink and I love it so, so much. My Miffy collection has definitely been growing. I love Miffy. Miffy is so cute. Oh, also I can't forget about my cute little Miffy keychain. This one this one girl these Hi Hi hirona figures i want to buy the whole collection but i feel like they're low-key kind of expensive and i'm literally broke right now so it's okay but one day i'm gonna get a whole box of this but these things are so cute i definitely think the details in these are literally insane like whoever created this literally is so creative because this is so flipping cute and i was like when i unboxed it i was like girl i'm about to flip a table I'm literally gonna flip a table. I really want the one that has like the fishbowl head like on his head. Or the ghost one. I'm literally gonna pop it right here because girl, I want it so bad. Hey, but you guys are currently on my next item and this is my Stanley Cup. I'm gonna be real to you. I use this cup to freaking put use as a tripod, but I need to drink water right now anyways because I'm literally feel like I'm about to pass out. 
I needed that actually. But I love this cup because I put a little sticker on it. You know, Stanley girls are low-key problematic, but I'm not the problematic type. I just like the color. Okay, now we are going to move into, oh, the K-pop section. And y'all, the fact that I don't have like a current favorite album right now, just because I haven't been buying albums is like actually insane. Like, so I don't have like a favorite album, but I do have a few photo cards that I've been loving these days. So I have this Gunnuk one, this Intok one. Also, P1 Harmony's going on tour. P1 Harmony's going on tour, okay? And I also have this Subin one. So these are like my favorite photo cards, I would say, right now. Since I haven't been buying as many albums, that's more money to be spending on a lot of the tours that is coming up because there are a lot of tours that's coming up right now. Okay, so let's get into the music that I've been loving. So let's start off with Le Seraphim's new album, but I would say Easy, Smart, and We Got So Much are definitely like my favorite songs on there anyway the whole album was just good okay yeah and then we have p1 harmony just whole comeback whole album i think killing it is definitely one that i really loved and enjoyed and i'm glad they got their first win with this because killing it was literally so good and i know that they've been working super hard to get their first win and then tws they recently debuted but i love their song where they what i can't think of the song though we're playing on tonight uh -huh, uh -huh, and face it all together is that bff or is it something else psychic fever everybody has been on them right now everybody if you're literally on tiktok you have been on them and i'm just glad they're, they're getting more popular anyway in mix whole comeback too as well definitely one of my favorite comebacks this year i don't know something about the whole album was eating a song that i've really been obsessed with in k-pop is um leo song one look it was mm, y'all need to listen to it if you have it okay then we have wildfire by taeyong i've been listening to that song way too much as well and then any wave to earth song but these days i've been listening to love a lot love is so good and now we are moving into our last section of this video and this is k dramas and movies my current favorite k dramas and movies and films um let's start off with a shot for killers oh my god definitely one of my favorite k dramas this year so far the plot was plotting the actors were acting anyway a shot for killers was so good i binged it actually i didn't i had to wait till the episodes coming out came out but it was definitely a really good drama so i would definitely go check it out dr slump is number two they're my faves they're literally my parents they're everything they mean everything to me and i think the parent is so well i think the pace of the drama is so good i also think the actual plot of the drama is also really really uh well made too the i like the concept of k dramas adding more like mental health problems into like dramas and stuff okay this one is a j drama but it's i will be your bloom and i recently watched this one probably in january and it was so good like i saw a few things because i watched our secret diary which is the next one on here our secret diary is like this japanese movie that's been given, getting really popular and the main lead on our secret diary was the main lead on i would be your bloom it's so cute i love the friendship aspect i'm trying like to give you guys a little bit of inside of the drama without spoiling it but i would be your bloom was like about a j-pop group that kind of had their trials and tribulations they had like a house mother to come help them and the house mother was actually the main lead's teacher it was just like really cute also really comforting and it just gives me a good summer vibe like i feel like i would definitely rewatch that again in the summer um then we have ready set love this one i recently watched because it just came out and i haven't seen so many people talk about it but i was like i'm gonna go watch it like i, I kind of wanted to watch it before the hype but i just didn't have enough time to because i was already watching like so many other dramas like marry my husband killer's paradox those are the two dramas that i watched before ready set love i would definitely say a killer's paradox is definitely well made like the plot the cinematography everything about that one going back because i just got distracted ready set love girl so good i literally miss it they literally needed more than six episodes like i'm not even kidding ready set love literally had everything i also really love thai dramas but i'm not even gonna say like the whole plot and everything was good but ready set love had just amazing cinematography amazing editing like i just saw the use of like so much in this uh drama i was like girl wait the cinematography the editing everything is literally top tier and the also the actors just 
just did so well in that drama i was like girl oh my god the last one is a c drama it's a miss a snowstorm of love i talked about this in my last video and i'm almost done with it i actually have like one episode to get through and i'm kind of sad like i watched 30 episodes in like five and like not even five days like three days i watched 30 episodes in three days okay what about it but they're so cute like i love the chemistry of the two actors obviously i've seen them to work in other dramas and stuff before and just seeing them together they work really well together and like i don't know something about c dramas they always just make me feel like i'm a third wheel but those are definitely some of my favorite dramas and stuff that i watch i haven't to be honest i haven't watched as many films as i wish to but i did watch uh waves and it was really good obviously the cinematography is really good a24 films are always really good um and i did watch batland hunter my sassy girl blue spring ride but yeah i have not been watching that many films which i need to get back on my film thing because i like to watch like a film every week or so but sometimes I can't get around to it those are my current favorite movies and drama you guys know I could sit and talk about my fave movies and dramas for the whole rest of the video but I'm not gonna do that but that is pretty much all for my current favorites video I really do hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do because I like talking about some of my favorite things and I like showing you guys what are some of my favorite products and things to use so let me know in the comments what are some of you guys' favorite things or favorite hobbies or favorite films or favorite dramas that you like right now thank you so much for supporting me and I love you guys with all my heart and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!